Over the last couple of years, a ton of people who never prior needed or wanted a webcam suddenly found themselves both needing and wanting a webcam. And because of this, a lot of solutions kind of popped up for this problem. And, you know, one big solution a lot of people came up with, a lot of people started using, was using their Android or their iPhone as their webcam. In fact, this is something that I use for a very different uh, sort of reason all the time. I tend to lately be using my Pixel 7 Pro and an application called DroidCam. More specifically, I use DroidCam X. Anytime you see an angle on this channel where I'm pointed down at my desk, that is my Pixel 7 Pro currently. I would like to eventually get a, a DSLR as well. Uh, DSLR here, a DSLR there would probably be better. But for now, that's what I've been using and it works really well. So that's the application there. All I have to do on my phone is open up the Droid Cam app, get the IP address that is in there, click on start, and there you go. I am now using this thing as a webcam. And you can see, guys, like it is, it's really, really quick. And if I go to the full screen here, it's actually like shockingly clear. And even with uh, the Pixel 7, you know, it's got the macro camera. If you go up really, really close, it actually will switch to the macro lens. If you go back out, it should switch back to the normal one. There we go. Just switch back to the normal one. If I go in really nice and close, boom, macro lens. So this stuff does work like really, really well. However, to do this currently, you do need to grab a third party application. This tweet here from Michal Rahman, I guess that's how I'd probably pronounce that. They've leaked several things like this in the past. They've got some really interesting news here. They say, using an Android phone as a webcam became really popular during the pandemic, but you've typically had to install a third-party app to do so. You may not have to do this in the future, though, as Google is adding support for turning Android devices into USB webcams. Now, obviously, what I was just showing you is fully wireless, but there is, of course, a way to do this wired as well. As you can see there, there's connect over USB or create a Wi-Fi server. You can actually use this as like a like a security camera if you want to do this. So if we scroll down here, Android is adding a new device as webcam service that turns an Android device into a webcam. Now, of course, we've seen Apple as of late do the exact same thing, actually, to the extent that they've got a little thing that like snaps your iPhone to the top of your laptop, which is odd. I mean, I guess if you want to have a really nice webcam, that's a pretty good solution to this. So this makes a lot of sense for Google to be going this route as well. Now, he goes a lot more in-depth about some of the technical stuff about this, which I don't really think is going to be relevant to necessarily my audience. But at any rate, I think that this is a really, really nice feature that should be coming to Android phones, hopefully very, very soon. At any rate, guys, I just thought this was a pretty cool little tidbit to pass along. If you want to do what I just showed using DroidCam, I will drop a link in the description to a very quick tutorial that I made about half of a year ago on how to set this up and how to best use it. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tech content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.